Breaking news. Jonathan backs Northern Governor to succeed Buhari in 2023. My dear, the matter, the tables are turning. Mm, good luck, Ibele. Jonathan wanted to come back, but all of a sudden, that thing blew out of proportion. And Nigerians, you know, the cat was out of the bag before the time. And Nigerians got to know the plots and the plans ongoing, you know, and um, he could no longer, he could no longer hide. He could no longer hide, you know, what they were planning before could not succeed. You know, they were planning that he would come in for one tenor. And after that, that's it. You know, then the North will come on board. But sadly, it was not meant to be. Mm, it was not meant to be. Because uh, the thing blew out of proportion. Before you could say Jack Robinson, mm -hmm. everybody was aware. It didn't quite go down well. And uh, today, like they say, you know, he's in that fix where he's neither here nor there. And um, he's particularly not happy. But recently, he was in the North. He visited a Northern governor with whom they've been very good friends. And um, him himself, you know, why the South is saying the South must produce the next president uh, is quite different from that. He has endorsed a Northern governor to come on board and to become Nigerian's president and is now campaigning, you see. So this is what is happening right now, my people. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Good luck, Hebele Jonathan, backs Northern Governor to succeed Buhari in 2023. Former President Good Luck, Hebele Jonathan, has backed the presidential ambition of Governor Balam Mohammed of Bauchi State. News Nigeria reports that Jonathan endorsed the governor during a visit on Thursday in Abuja. Jonathan expressed confidence in Mohammed, who served as FCT minister under his administration to lead the country. If you had been there as president, then I have a son, Jonathan said. Every father wants his son to grow and to take over leadership at some point. Those of you who worked with me, it is my duty to support you. We are the same family. The best thing will happen for us. You are a very competent and focused person. By the divine providence, with the support of Nigerians and God, you will become the president, Jonathan has assured. The visit of, Boha of Jonathan to Balam Mohammed has been the one which has been causing a lot of reactions as Jonathan has endorsed a northern governor in a time the South is insisting a southerner must produce the next president. Recall that New Lead Nigeria has earlier reported Balam visit to Jonathan's residence to inform him of his presidential ambition. Mohammed in a Facebook page wrote, Today I receive I was received by the former president, good luck, Ebele Jonathan, at his presidential, as his residence in Abuja. I went to inform him of my aspiration to run for the office of the president in the forthcoming election. He expressed extreme confidence in my ability to actualize the aspiration of Nigerians mm -hmm. through exemplary leadership, considering my tenacious achievement as FCT minister and now as governor. Mohammed, who set up a consultation committee, disclosed that he has received the report of the committee and was ready to forge ahead. So good luck, Ebele Jonathan has endorsed a northern governor. And this is coming in a time where a lot of persons are shocked because good luck Ebele Jonathan at this point in time you know Nigerians are expecting should be the one who should be you know who should be honest about the position of things being that the south has been speaking with one voice and have been saying it is time that the southern becomes the next president with all that is going on it is time for the south to emerge and produce leadership the Southern governors are reiterating their position and keep saying it again and again. They've not stopped saying it that uh, we need to forge ahead, we need to move forward, and we need to make a decisive change. It is at this very you know, point in time that good luck Ibele Jonathan is endorsing a Northern governor. So when you look at it, 
you you know that um, there is serious cause for concern because this is like a house divided against itself so i wonder what the south are looking forward to if they cannot stand as one speak with one voice stand in unity and decide what they want to do okay jonathan is seen you know as one of the leaders in the southern region you know is seen as one of the, the leaders in the southern region so if Jonathan, that is, you know, seen as a former governor, uh, a former president, somebody who should be with this on the side of the South, is rather not on the side of the South, I wonder what the South really stands for, you know, because when you're seen as somebody who is disjointed, not coordinated, neither here nor there, I wonder, you know, I wonder what people will be thinking and saying is going on with the Southerners because it seems very much like they are distracted, they are not focused, they don't know what they want, they are neither here nor there, you know, they are, they are inco incoherent, you know, and um, it, it, just, it doesn't speak well, honestly, it doesn't just speak well. How can you, you know, your, your wife is saying something totally different from what you were saying. If I come into that space, I, first of all, the first thing I'll pick is called confusion. And I will understand that you're not together. And guess what? Anybody can take advantage of it. Oh, yes. Because they know that you're not together. You're not speaking with one voice. You are disconnected. You are this. You are not one. You are not one. So what do they do? You know, they take on one side and say, who can I really, you know, push so that I can get something from this person? How do I, how do I press the button? And they go ahead and they press the button and they succeed very well. Not just well, excellently well. Why? Because you guys are not together. Have you heard of the force called unity? Oh, you can cut it with a knife. It binds brothers together. No matter what happens, come rain, come shine. They, they, they stand. They are together. They are one. There is a voice. You know, there is something about it that just keeps that position stay, you know, and establish so much so that, you know, they, 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 they reiterate their position and they, and they are standing as one and they are not taking, they're not taking for granted. If I come and I discover, the, you know, I mean, no coordination here and there, everybody's this, then I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't pledge my support for that. No, I mean, you can't pledge your support for a people who are not even coordinated. You know, that's how it starts. Leave us a comment. We would really love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.